Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. We are back with the Ted Show, named after me, of course. Um, we are. I'm excited to have Alex Pena Pena on the show. You have to correct me if I don't say that right. Um, Alex came to. Alex and I met through our friend Gigi, and we've got to give her a shout out. And I've got to give all the credit to Alex for remembering exactly how we met. So kudos to you, Alex, for that, and thank you, Gigi, for the intro. I love this topic journey to healthy living. I think all of us are on some sort of journey that we keep falling back on and we're all always work in progress. Uh, but it's different things to different people. So journey to healthy living for one person is different from the other. So I like this topic. I want to learn more about it. Uh, but first, before we do that, welcome. And we want to learn about you, Alex. Tell us, give us a little origin story on you. Well, my name is Alex Pina, and I am born and raised in New York and lived in Florida 22 years and have been here since. Um, sometimes miss home, but there's, you know, I'm part of New different, York. But I enjoy it. I, I live in Queens. Awesome. And go ahead. You were saying you enjoy it. We're a little delayed, so I'm not trying to interrupt you. Um, that's okay. Uh, I enjoy, you know, I enjoy, I've enjoyed New York City. Living in the Big Apple is, is fun and exciting. And, um, you know, when I moved here, it was a little different because there was a lot of cows and horses and I was not used to that. <laughs> but I've, I've been grateful that Florida has grown a lot. <laughs> it really has grown a lot. But I mean, I think that that's good overall. The weather alone here in Orlando, nothing against New York because I was born in Jersey, but uh, yeah, it's the weather here is much better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do? How did you get on this journey to talk about healthy living? Is your background in nutrition or is it something something that happened with you personally or is it a combination of a whole bunch of things? Well, it was a combination of both. Um, I ended up going to school, which is part of the IIN program, Integrated New Institute of Nutrition, based out of New York. They had it online. Um, so I did the class for a year, became a health coach. Um, when, once I ended up doing that, like two or three months later, I found out I had breast cancer. Um, but I found out because I pretty much felt it myself and said, oh, my God, something's wrong. I feel something and it's not normal. Um, and at that point, I didn't have insurance. And so I was working for a company and they didn't provide it. And then I remembered that uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And if you don't have insurance, um, Advent Health will give you, give you like $35, which is what they charge me to check you to see what's going on. And they did, and I and I was checked, and um, they said, "Okay, well, we need to do a core biopsy on you." And I said, "Okay, wow. well, yeah." Um, and that's how the journey started. Um, when I found out that I had breast cancer, um, luckily I caught it at stage one, um, which of course I did not want to go through any of the beginning things that they wanted me to do, what doctors wanted me to do. So I began my search on, eat, you know, eating healthy, talking to nutritionists, do talking to doctors, you know, telling doctors, no, I'm not going to do what you're telling me to do. So you um, actually pushed back on them. I did. Wow. I did. And I, and I explained to them that I was not going to follow it. One doctor really scared me. And she said, well, we have to do all this stuff on you. And I said, no, you're not. Um, but then I had a teacher who, who actually, she was really nice and she actually told um and then she actually told me that she knew of a real good surgeon and that surgeon actually uh, was awesome because he was so loving compassionate had a caring heart and it was just so great what a difference and then, right oh yeah it was night and day difference um and so he helped me and you know he said well if you don't do it then it's going to keep spreading and you have to follow what you know we're saying. And I said, that's fine, but you have to tell me, I'm, I'm not going to do everything you're telling me to do because I'm still going to want to eat healthy. I'm still going to want to do my stuff. I'm still going to want to do this. Is that going to be okay with you? And he said, yeah, that's okay with me. Um, just follow it on the way you're saying and then just take whatever we're, you know, it's okay. So he allowed you said, to okay, have the that's path fine. where and you I did. Where, 
where you he allowed you to uh, do what you wanted to do for you, for what you felt like was part of your healthy journey, um, as long as you followed his stuff too. He didn't say it was one or the other, which a lot of surgeons do. They're like, don't, you can't do that during this. Uh, you can't do this, but you found somebody who listened to you. Yes. And that's like Amazing. so important because if you don't have somebody to listen to you um, and do that. That's really hard because then you're combating against each other and you can't yes. combat against doctors because they, they'll ultimately have the last call. So I, so, I so really, tell us what you did. Did you, you had surgery, but what were you do? So we know, I think we pretty much know the different things that you could have with breast cancer, the treatments, um, I would have the traditional ones. What about the un, what about the non-traditional? Mm -hmm. What and by um, that I, I mean what did you do? Um, I would actually take um, like detoxing stuff to detox myself. Um, I had met an iridologist and she would look at my internally, and I would detox my body um, with some kind of Chinese medicine. There was like eight Chinese medicines in it, and I would take it. And I didn't care. I take it. So I took that, and then I also took the like a it's like a an, an oil. Like I would every day I would put frankincense oil because I also do essential oils. Every day I would put frankincense oil underneath my tongue. Every day I would do that. And, and so, why were those your choices? What is an iridologist, by the way? An iridologist actually looks into into your eyes and can see your internal system. Understood. Um, and through your eyes, you can actually see in, inside on what's wrong with you and can kind of help you, not diagnose you like the way a doctor can, but they can help you look internally where you can eat healthier, but that way, and take right. what you need, what kind of vitamins you need. Like you said, everybody's different. So everybody's uh, goal is has to be different because some people have, since there's so many different stages of breast cancer, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, so you yourself have to know your body um, in order for that to uh, work for you. Yeah, I think so for my cancer, um, I, I, I was caught it very early and I went through what they said, but I had my own stuff that I did based on research. I don't I wouldn't say, you know, a lot of people will listen to this and think, oh, my God, you're you're you two are crazy. You have to do what um, you know is right for you, but you have to do the research. And what I love what you said is you just didn't listen to the first book or the talk to the first person. You did your own research and really tried to work with somebody to figure out how your body would react to the things that you wanted uh, to do to help heal it. Yes, yes. And and that's the, the important thing to do until this day, because they still want you to after five years, they want you to take a medication. And everybody's was like, oh, you have to take the medication. You have to take the medication. It made me sick. Yeah. Um, and I never took it. And so I, I make every, every every week I make lemongrass, which helps build your immune system. It helps take care of your body. It does antioxidants into your system, even like with COVID. You know, it would even help with that. Um, it does all that. So every day I stay, I, I also take a natural, natural vitamin, which is called Pow Pow, which is also from Nature Sunshine, which is also something that also helps your cells regulate your body internally. So let me ask you, how do you, if we're talking about sup supplements, vitamins, um, healthy alternatives, I think most people struggle with trying to figure out what brand, where to buy it, what's real, what's filler, is this really work, is there any scientific data? Um, when I got diagnosed, a friend of mine said frankincense, and so I, I have that in the back of my mind. But it's very hard when you're trying to maneuver through yourself and you don't have the knowledge. So what can people do? How can people best educate themselves? Um, online, I mean, Nature Sunshine is actually a really good uh, corporation where that they actually are. And you're absolutely correct. I mean, there are times I go to Whole Foods and there are times I go to places, but you don't know where what is actually in it. Yeah. Um, and that's the biggest problem. You don't know what's in them. And even when I learned in school, vitamins 
you don't know what's in those vitamins. You don't know if it's taking it's going to affect you. You don't. There, I mean, there is so much that you don't know. Um, but if it's pure, like I know, like Young Living is a, is an essential oil that it's pure. They actually actually really raise it um, in the it's in Ohio. They actually raise it. Nature Sunshine, same thing. They actually do things that is is clean and clear. The important thing is is everything that's clean and clear. There's so much things internal stuff, uh, like back in the day, little little house little house on the prairie days. I mean, it, it's just basically <laughs> that. I mean, it's going back to the reality the, of of how really God made the world and made the earth. I, sure. I agree. Like I'm a big and only purity will of, actually work because no, nothing else will really help all this. Of what you're saying i think it's so important for people to follow their journey somebody asked about detox you mentioned that earlier uh there's i don't know ten thousand different detox systems out there how do you know on the detox side how what's the best way to do research to make sure that that particular detox is the one for you and what you're going through and and that's correct because you actually have to know your body because if you're going to go to let's just say you're going to go to chamberlain's and you want to detox something that you know you can use depending upon how that actually works will affect your body because if like let's just say you know god forbid you know you take something and a whole bunch of vitamins are in there and if you have to go to the bathroom you obviously have to stop taking it because it's it's it's, it's too much for you because you know your lumen and you know your body. Um, so it, it depends. You really have to research that specific product because and look at the reviews because you don't know um, what's in it and how it's really going to affect you. It can say it's great, but how do you know it's going to really work for you? Well, yeah, everybody's body is different like we talked about. And so people, I think, will like you could tell me ted this one worked for me and if i did the research and i didn't feel like it was right for me then that's great but at least it gave me a starting point and i think this kind of discussion is so important you mentioned essential oils before too and frankincense so tell us a little bit about that because i think most of us know frankincense from any kind of christmas carol the frankincense and myrrh uh the bible the bible narrative um Tell us a little bit about essential oils, because I think like anything else when it comes out and all of a sudden it's blasted on the media that people don't know how to find one that's real and legit and the ingredients are what they say they are. And and I mean, I can honestly tell you, Young Living Frankincense is, is amazing. It's expensive, but it's amazing. I mean, you can, I mean, I would put it underneath my tongue. I would put it, you know, I would diffuse it in my room. I mean, it's, it's, it smells so good and it's pure. So the biggest thing to look at in reference to when it comes to essential oils is the purity of the actual oil and how the background of what is actually, how it's actually made. Cause there are times that people can actually make it the essential oil yourself. You know, wow. um, and make it in, in a, and put it in a little, yeah, because you can make it. I mean, you have to get all the all the all the ingredients for it, but you can make. But it there's yourself. good companies like and Young Living. Is, I've heard of them. I've heard of Young Living. They're they're. I've heard they're amazing. I also want to talk about nutrition before we start running out of time because you mentioned that earlier. Uh, part of obviously any healthy journey living journey to healthy living has got to have nutrition. Uh, involved, and I think a lot of us get confused. Are we keto? Are we um, the cave caveman diet? Are we Mediterranean? Are we dieting at all? Are we counting calories? Are we counting fat? Do I have to count how much vitamin C is in my food? And I think people get so confused on the nutritional stuff. So can you give us like a little 101 on, you know, some of the things, maybe some changes that people can do in their lives to, to take that first step on the journey? Well, the first step to really, you know, go on the journey is to really understand you. Because um, you know what your body is all about. There are many people I know that are on the keto diet. There are people that I know that go on different diets. And then four or four, five months later, they're off. Because yeah. it really didn't do anything for them. Because the majority of the time, and, and, and I honestly don't believe in diets, because it's you. You yourself know your body. 
So daily, you know, you walk yourself through it, through it, through a, a nutrition. Okay, well, today I'm not going to eat sugar. Um, I'm going to be good. I, I did a challenge one day on, on, on sugar, and there are a few people that did it um, because sugar actually affects you. I mean, sugar is basically like a drug. It's like a drug addict, really. Cause you and it's do, in everything. And it's in everything. <laughs> you and can't it, escape it. What about what about carb like carbohydrates? Do you it, what is you when you practice when you're when you're talking to clients when you're coaching clients? Do you have like a percentage of carbs versus fats versus vegetables, um, or do you just really work with the person and experiment based on uh, how you're seeing them progress? Experiment to see progress. Because some people, depending on their body and their system, can only have certain things. Like a diabetic person may only be able to have a certain amount of things because they have to put insulin. Another person has to turn around and do different things. So depending on the person's style and the way a person is, is the only way that it would actually work for them. So it's basically taking it a step-by-step -step process and supporting and guiding. Because the only thing you can do is really support and guide that person. And not to, at the end of the day, only they can make that decision. Correct. And I think doctor. it's, you have to be able to make your own decision, but it is good to reach out to people like you and experts and do your research. I did, um, I went on the keto, keto or there, what's the caveman one? It's got a different name, <laughs> but I went on that and um, I went into full on ketoacidosis, like uh -oh. the bad. And my doctor said, I need my, my MD that I went to said, your your urine and your blood work, you need to go have a sub, Ted. Go eat some bread. This wow. is not good for your body, what you're doing wow. to it. Your body is telling you that it needs some of those carbs that you've been depriving it of. And wow. I'll never forget that. That was a that was miserable, but gosh, that was the best sub I ever <laughs> ate in my life right after that. <laughs> uh, but you have to you have to find your own. You have to figure it out. It's not a one and done or one fits all, like you're saying. Right. It's, it, it's a it's all about guiding and supporting um, you know, and helping because not everybody knows everything. And you really have to just be supportive on what other people really need. Agreed. And then I would encourage people, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, you know, you want to go get checked. Please go get checked. Uh, Alex said, and she's right, Advent Health has the $35 ones. Uh, some of them are, some of the centers are giving them away. Like you just go in and if you can't pay, you get it done anyway. There are lots of ways to get it done if you don't have insurance and this month especially uh we still got 18 days or so please go have it checked and if you get a diagnosis do your research like alex is saying figure out what works for you and work find a doctor like alex said that will listen to you and work with you remember they are they are not the end all so find somebody who you can work with that you feel comfortable with i think that is a clear clear message. Um, all right. So if somebody wants to get started on their journey with you, Alex, wants to learn more, what's the best way for them to reach you? Um, they can go to journeytohealthyliving.org or they can call me at 407-461-4463. You're a joy. That was excellent. Go to her website, go to Alex's website, reach out to her. It's that first step. We just did a show before this about trying new things, the magic of trying new things. If you've been wanting to get on a journey to healthy living. This is a great time to do it um, and reach out to Alex. You can see she's just as down to earth. That's what you want, people. You want somebody who's down to earth and accessible and not judgy because sometimes <laughs> doctors, I love my doctor friends, but they can be judgy. Uh, <laughs> all right, so journeytohealthyliving.org. Alex Pena, thank you so much for being on the thank show. You. Your joy. All right, guys, thank reach you. out. Take the first step. What have you got to lose? All right, see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.